Warning, the following video is raw and unscripted. Ranting and rambling may occur. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't let the ghosts and the ghouls disturb you. Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh from Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake uh, coming back at you with another quick review. And don't worry, it's spoiler free. Um, and today I picked a movie that I never see anybody talk about. And so I decided, you know, I wanted to watch it because it's always been like on Amazon and I've been like looking at it and I'm like, I'm going to watch it. Mm, I don't know. And then I finally just decided to watch it today. Uh, and that is Dark Was the Night. Uh, it was made back in 2014, uh, directed by Jack Heller. Uh, and the main star of this attraction is uh, Kevin Durand. And then you have his uh, partner in crime, Lucas Haas. Um, now, Kevin Durand, he's never really been the main character in any movie that I've seen or anything he's done. He's always just one of those, like background characters or you know not really like in the forefront so uh seeing in him in the limelight this time was kind of nice and uh, you know i i remember him the first time i ever saw him was in the movie walking tall um with the rock where he like lives in this washington town and he comes back after serving in the military and um, his whole town has gone to crap and is corrupt uh, there's like a crooked casino, or casino, <laughs> what is that, a freaking Italian dish? Um, crooked casino run by this guy that he knows, and they're peddling drugs out of it. And so he becomes sheriff of the town and just cleans up the town. It's a really good movie. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. Kevin Durant's also been in some other stuff like Legion, The Strain, Real Steel 2, stuff like that. Uh, Lucas Haas has been in uh, Mars Attacks, if you've ever seen that. That's a classic for sure. Um, and as well as the movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Revenant, uh, and some other films, a little less known films. Um, and then, um, so, yeah, Kevin Durant is the main focus of this film. He's a sheriff in the town of Maiden Woods. Um his name is De or Sheriff Shields. Um, I don't really feel like giving you his full name. It's like they don't really refer to him. Like I mean, the whole time he's sheriff. So, um, and then you have his uh, deputy Saunders, who is played by Lucas Hoff. Um, and then his wife, or his I should say his estranged wife, because their relationship you find out in the movie is very on the rocks. Uh, I won't go into detail on why, um, but uh, she is played by Bianca Kajlik. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, um, but she was in like Halloween Resurrection, 30 Minutes or Less, Bring It On, Dawson's Creek, uh, a lot of things. So, um, And then you have his son who is played by Ethan Kasudman, another name I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce. Um, but he plays, uh, Adam Shields, his son, um, and he was also in an Adam Sandler movie, The Cobbler. I don't know, that was a Netflix original. I haven't seen that in such a long time, but, um, so, the movie is based in this town, Maiden Woods, and there, the whole movie kicks off with this, um, like logging company who's like tearing into the forests out there and that sets the stage because it, it seems that they've woken something up and it's pissed it's hungry um and just out for blood so those people are all just like wiped out um and 
The one thing I'm going to say I really enjoyed about this movie is the cast, really, and um, just how logical people are, and they just felt very believable. And, like, the main character, Kevin Durand, you really felt for this man, and you felt for his wife and his son, and they just you felt like a connection you could build with these characters, even though it's not like a super long film. Um, and I like that about film or certain films where you can, you can feel for the characters. You're not just like, it's not just like empty filler or people to be killed off. Like, you know, if they kill these people in the movie, you're going to be like heartbroken and because you can, they're relatable. And so I really enjoyed that about the film. Uh, the first half of the movie was all like in this, like the cinematography was shot in like this blue tone, which I was like wondering if that was going to be the way the whole film was, but ended up like going to more of a normal like color and like, you know, not all shot in this blue tone. I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually thought it looked pretty cool in the blue tone, but, um, yeah, they switched it up about halfway through. And so, yeah, so the, the logging company, let's get back into this logging company. These people get wiped out, you know, and then animals start disappearing and people's pets start going missing like horses. And um, so, you know, they're all like turning to the sheriff uh, shields and looking for answers and help. And so this, this whole time, him and his deputy have got to figure out what the hell is going on in their little town. Because, you know, they're kind of like backwoods, secluded, not a huge town. Everybody knows everybody. Um, and I thought it was really good. It was a good, like, creature feature film. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything about what the creature looked like or anything like that. Um... I'm going to say, too, that the ending, you know, you always expect some kind of twist at the end of a horror movie. For most horror movies, you know, you're like, happily ever after, psych! And then it, it goes into, like, where it, you're like, oh, shit. It's not over. These people are fucked. <laughs> so, um, but the movie ending, you know, I, I kind of actually was really rooting and hoping you know that um everything was copacetic and i got a surprise um it's you know it's not exactly what you think um i'm not trying to spoil anything let me just tell you that no matter what your speculation is right now um i think you'll be surprised and it was actually a really good film i enjoyed this a lot um, I definitely recommend it. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if I was to rank this movie, uh, I would definitely give it a solid eight. And I don't just toss those out there. Um, you saw what I scored Scream 3. Um, and that's for my favorite series. So this isn't, I mean... No one's safe when it comes to my ratings, so, but I really enjoyed this, and I hope that you guys get a chance to check it out if you haven't. Uh, if you have, or you want to check it out, then leave me a comment below. I'd definitely like to hear what everybody else thinks of this movie, um, and, you know, just, you know, what it lacked, what it succeeded in, did you enjoy, like, the cast as much as I did, you know, what would you rate it? You know, I just want to hear everybody's responses. I love the friendly back and forth, so definitely don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Uh, or find me on Instagram, uh, n.o.w.l.91. Obviously, <laughs> that's the acronym for my channel, and then the year I was born. Um, don't feel, Don't be afraid to DM me or... You know, shoot me any comments on there, too. Uh, I definitely love talking to you all. I want you guys to feel like you're a part of the Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake family. 
um, because I love being part of the horror community. So, you know, if you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Um, and then you can, you know, enjoy some more content from me. I, I definitely have some random things on my channel, and I definitely plan for some more random things and some, some cool stuff down the road. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, checking this out. All right. Keep killing it out there, my friends. Just remember, don't get caught. Thank you.